Hey guys, it's Stephen Gates from MyPLCTraining.com. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can use internal bits, or coils, as some people call them, to create relay type logic in your PLC program. Now I'm not going to walk you through all the steps necessary to start a new PLC project or download the program to the emulator. If you want to learn about that, be sure to check out my free mini PLC course. Okay, so the big picture is that we're going to create three rungs of logic that will accomplish the following. Flipping a toggle switch will turn off a green light that is normally on, and it will turn on a red light that is normally off. So first, let's add three rungs. Sometimes you have to push it more than once to get the rung to pop up. On the first rung, let's add a normally open contact. This is also known as an XIC. Sometimes dragging it is better. An XIC instruction, or examine if closed. The address for the XIC will be the first available input on a MicroLogix PLC. So this is referencing a physical input. I zero colon zero slash zero. Let's put a description for that address and call it toggle switch. Next, let's add an output, also known as an OTE or output energize on this run. Let's make the address for the output the first address of the default internal bits in data file B3. So the address will be B3 0 colon 0 slash 0. Let's call this bit toggle lights. On the second rung, we will add a normally closed contact or XIO. Let's use the same internal bit address that we used above. B3 colon 0 slash 0. On the output of the rung, we'll add an OTE. Let's address this to an actual physical output. We'll make it the first available output on the MicroLogix PLC, which is O colon zero slash zero. Let's give this a label. We'll call it green light. On the third rung, and final rung. Let's add another XIC that will reference our internal bit again. B3 colon 0 slash 0. The output of this rung will reference another physical output, the second output on the MicroLogix PLC, which is O colon zero slash one. Let's call this red light. Okay, so now we need to verify the project and then we're going to test it. Okay, everything checked out. Let's download it to the emulator. We're online. Let's go to run mode. Notice that the green light is on because the normally closed contact from the toggle lights relay is closed here. Because the output coil for that internal bit is not energized. Also, notice 
the red light is off because the input to the rung is a normally open contact and again its output coil is not energized. To see the lights change we will need to toggle the input switch. Since we're using an emulator and not a real PLC we don't have physical inputs. I don't have an actual switch here. So no inputs and outputs are actually wired to a PLC. We're just going to see how this affects the logic. So we'll simply force on the toggle switch input and see what happens. So I have forces enabled already. I'm just going to right click the toggle switch, select force on, and watch the green light and red light outputs. There you go. As you can see, the normally closed contact is now open and the normally open contact is now closed for the internal bit and the lights change status. There you have it. It's a brief introduction to internal bits in ladder logic. I hope this was helpful. Again, my name is Steven from MyPLCTraining.com and hopefully we'll talk to you later. Take care.